Hello everyone, she's asleep so I tried to be a little more fancy because today is a new pattern and I call it pure snow. Let's see. First, I'm going to tell you uh, where to find the pattern, how I knitted it ish, and at the end, to who I knitted these pair for. So, first things first, down below you will have a link to Raverly page. I think I'm going to go off Etsy because of the fees and everything like that. So, um, just unfortunately, Raverly only. I'm planning to close shop on Etsy. Go check out Raverly if you can. And these are quite easy socks they're toe up socks with after top to heel if you've never knitted socks before and you want to knit plenty vanilla socks check down below my uh, link to the playlist socks and there will be step-by-step -step tutorial how i knit toe up socks using sport weight yarn these are knitted in fingering weight yarn with a little bit of texture on the front side of the foot and then around almost around the whole section of the leg um, after the heel when we mark it uh, I still recommend to have some plain vanilla on the back just continue with the pattern in the front and then knit other so how it goes it's toe up we knit toe and then we have a chart and I invested in what you call it pattern genius app that you can use um, to create patterns and charts and because over here here is something like one by one right cable and or left cable depends some people call it um, left twist left twist or right twist I will leave tutorials over here so you can check out how I do that without using cable needle. But that app, what does it do when you create a chart? Automatically write down the written instructions. So yeah, check that out, how it works. And you can check my pattern. Uh, although I'm not completely fall, uh, taking off the um, final <laughs> piece that this app rep uh, represents as a pattern, a written pattern per se, I'm using elements into my pattern like a chart and those written instructions. Help me a lot because this pattern includes four sizes. Therefore, if you want to knit a socks for 48 stitches, so that could be my DK or a fingering weight yarn, or you go 56 stitches, 64 or 72 stitches, that's the number of stitches that you like to knit socks, go check it out. I slightly modified the chart for bigger sizes. Uh, to accommodate that um, because what we have here we have this lovely so what we have here we have this lovely section over here in the front um, on the side I include this for 56 stitch and then repeat that on the back whatever we have in the front so quite nice quite relaxing especially if you check that tutorial and you will be doing those cable or twisted and knitting stitches um, without cable needle so uh, that's that I really like it and it just inspired me because the yarn overall that I used is called Elsa and I don't have to I think tell you what that represents so this is from Julie Asselin um, I don't ride in the pattern then so here is the label that the yarn I used, but any fingering, and that's what I wrote down in the pattern per se. Gauge, I put it for a uh, plain vanilla, so just in stocking it stitch. It's not, it, it doesn't tell you from perspective of the texture itself. It has a tendency to combine when you're knitting, if I can say it that way. So I was slightly afraid maybe it got a little bit too tight, but I'm able to slide them in on um, medium sock blockers. And that's basically what I was aiming for because I was knitting these socks for Lynn. So Lynn, congratulations again. I'm so happy that I could knit socks for you. Um, this is something that I do. This is a thing I love channel because you can join and then thing I love channel to become a member for level one, level two. And so far so good, even with the little one, I'm able to uh, create giveaways where I give um, 
hand knitted socks and this was for level two and this is customized so Lynn chose the yarn from the basket so you can maybe see what this this month has an offer but if you're watching it later on just double check my channel and see if there's anything going on especially playlist members of videos only just to be spot on in regards what's going on now oh I almost forgot I thought here my favorite one tutorial over here how I do it uh, basically I snip at the yarn at the end uh, so the final moment to pick where to place the heel however with any texture pattern I had to know where I'm going to put it in uh, because you repeat the chart the foot chart for as long as minus two inches because that would be a length of the heel and then you know you need to know what to do in regards to this section that you have a bit um, just in the front plain in the back for the heel and then you just um, start knitting the leg section over here and you can do it as long as you want and as much yarn you have and I did have yarn as you can see but I'm also trying to make sure that any socks that I make there are approximately 80 grams just to have the shipping slightly just to have the shipping under my budget let's say that way um, yeah I really like them and I really like the the yarn that's why I call it pure snow I hope you like it and I'm so curious how this pattern will look in the tonal yarn or unicolor because this is very highly speckled yarn and quite nice because it's evenly quite evenly speckled through the skein so yay if you're interested in what kind of needle as I use for fingering weight yarn I use US size 1 which is 2.25 millimeter knitting needles so here they are I use um, as you can see the long cord ones so look for 32 inches or 40 inches if you buy 40 inches in case you want to make two at a time socks you'll be able to do that and I have a tutorial for that too maybe I'll link it over here if you're interested to knit that way and my favorite method is to knit from toe up because that way I know I will have enough yarn and even if I run out of yarn I can always maybe have a ribbing different color um, that's that all the way around you need to know for sure how much yarn you would need to have and for me it's too stressful to be honest to play that game in case I don't have a full skein um, and also it's easier for me to just cast on uh, 24 stitches so basically 12 stitches on each knitting needle so I just need to count the 12 not to 56 um, and also there's no uh, risk of uh, twisting stitches when you start from the toe but when you start from the heel you can if is this pattern reversible yes it is um, you can definitely uh, knit it from cuff to the toe if you're interested but I have fun to knit on that I haven't used um, knitting needles for all um, I use them for toe and heel otherwise I go with nine inch circular knitting needles and that's what I was doing over here um, yeah, just for uh, maybe someone who's a beginner, you can definitely use uh, markers or even scrap of yarn, a loop a little bit, to mark where the side of the sock is, or maybe say differently, to mark the front of the sock and the back of the sock that divides you while you're knitting and you know where the first stitch of the first chart is, which I call it a foot chart, <laughs> four sides, whichever because each size has yeah, a chart. Therefore, uh, I'm planning, hopefully that's that's the, the way in the pattern is written. And double check when you're printing what size you want to knit and check the pages because you may not need to print the whole pattern, just the size that you're interested in, just to save the paper and the ink. Yeah, if you have any questions, read down below. Uh, check the links to my patterns. Maybe you will find some other ones that you like and you would like to support this channel a little bit so thank you so much from my heart and I hope to see you in the next one I think and in this channel and in this channel you can find some uh, socks some crocheted even ideas even though I don't crochet but uh, lovely talented people are sending things my way and I just cannot stop showing them to you for inspiration for you to knit or crochet till the next one Bye.